Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In the previous videos, we created animated text, testimonial, testimonial sliders and portfolio widget. Now in this video, we are going to use Elementor image gallery widgets. So we are going to create two different types of image galleries. The first one is the basic image gallery widget, which comes with the free Elementor plugin. That is the basic Elementor plugin. So this is the gallery created by using basic image gallery widget. And the second one is the advanced image gallery widget that comes with the Elementor Pro. So this is the gallery created using the image gallery widget in Elementor Pro. So when you click on this image, it will open in the gallery. And there are different layouts and different style settings when you create image gallery using Elementor Pro. So we are going to use both the image gallery widgets in Elementor. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I have created a gallery page. And on this page, we are going to use the image gallery widget. So let's start with the basic image gallery widget, which is a part of free Elementor plugin, the basic Elementor plugin. So let me create a new section here. And let's add some padding. The top and bottom padding. Click on the plus sign and search for the widget gallery. So this is the basic gallery widget and it is a part of free basic Elementor plugin. So you do not need pro plugin to use this basic gallery widget. So let's click on it, drag and drop it here. Okay, now here you will see an option to select images. So click on this option, the plus sign. Now you can upload the images from your computer or if you have already uploaded the images to the website, then you can go to media library and select the images from library. So I'm going to select some images from the library. Now all these images are mostly of different sizes. Now let's click on create a new gallery. So these images are added to the gallery. Now in future, if you want to add more images, you can click on add to gallery and you can select the images or you can upload the images. Let's go back to edit gallery. So these are the eight images selected. Now click on insert gallery. Okay, so this is the default layout of the gallery. Now the image size is 150 by 150. So let me change it to, let's say 300 by 300. And you will see this is the layout. Now let me change it to full. So it will show the good quality image. Now this is the column settings. Right now it is set to four columns and you will see images in four columns. Let's change it to three columns. And this is how the three column will look. Now these images are not of the same size. So that's why it's not showing properly. Now let's say two columns. So the two column looks much better than three or four columns. Let me change it back to four columns. You can adjust the columns according to the number of images you are going to add. Now this is the link. Now right now it is set to media file. You can change it to attachment page or none. When you select media file, when you click on this image, it will open the image in gallery. So let's click on this one and you will see that the image has been opened. Here you will see the arrow to go to next image. So this is how you can see the gallery images in the basic gallery. Now let's close this one. Let's go back. Now light box. Yes. So when you click on image, it will open the images in the light box. Okay, now order by default or random. You can change the order to random or you can change it to default. So default is the sequence that we use to upload the images, to add the images to the gallery. Now let's go to the style section. Right now, all the images are touching each other. So there is no gap or you can say there is no space in between these images. So let's change the spacing to custom and let's add some spacing. Right now it is set to 15, so I'm going to change it to 10. So 10 pixel is the spacing between the rows and columns. If you want to add border, you can add border. Let's set solid and let's add width one pixel. So you will see one pixel border is added to the image. So 
So this is how it will look. So when I click on it, it will open in the light box gallery. Now this is the border radius. You can also add the border radius. So you will see the border radius here. Now caption. So if you want to show the captions, you can show the caption. So if you set up, if you set the caption, it will show the caption on the image. All right, so let's add some background color so that it will look nice. So I have selected this section. Now go to style for the section and let's add the gradient color here. All right, so this one looks nice. So this is the basic gallery because the images are of not the same size. It looks something different. So if you have the equal size images, then it will look better than the this layout. Now let's update it. And let's see how does this look on the actual page. So this is how the image gallery will look. This is the basic gallery that comes with the free Elementor plugin. Right now, let's go back and now we are going to add another gallery that is the advanced gallery using the Elementor Pro plugin. So on this website, we have Elementor Pro plugin installed. So let me create a new section here. And let's add some padding, top and bottom padding. So click on the plus sign and search for the gallery again. So this is the gallery. This is one of the advanced gallery that comes with the Pro plugin. So you need to have Pro plugin installed. Now click on it drag it and drop it here okay now select the same images all right so i have selected the same eight images that we have on the basic gallery click on insert gallery now you will see the default look of this advanced gallery now you will see that all the images are customized to show the equal size and the clarity does not look good so i'm going to change the image size let's change it to full all right now you will see the images are clear okay so eight images are selected here now order by you can change to random or you can change to default so lazy load if you want to turn it on you can turn it on or you can turn it off so lazy load is nothing but showing the images when someone scroll down to that particular image so it will not show the image until you scroll down to the section of the image that will increase the speed of your page now these are the different types of layouts grids right now it is set to grid layout now you can change it to justify now in the grid layout you will see all the images are of equal size the length and width you will say that is set automatically to all the images you will see the aspect ratio here, image size. So let me change it to justify. Now you will see the image length and width has been changed according to their actual size. Okay, row height, this is the row height. Now if I change it to, let's say 250, you will see the increase in the row height. And the images are automatically adjusted according to the row height. So this one looks better than the simple or the grid layout spacing right now it is set to 10 you can change the spacing okay and this is a link to the media file same as the basic one and so it is set to justify if i click on it it will open in the light box the gallery Okay, now let's change it to masonry and you will see different layout for the masonry we can also change the number of columns here and spacing and you can hear from here you can select the order by default or order by random so this is the masonry layout image size is full now let's change it back to Justify. So I think this layout looks better than the grid or masonry layout. So let's change the row height. Let's say make it 250. And you will see the change in the image positions. Let's change it back to 225. So you can play with the row height and after that it will change the position of the images. All 
right now overlay right now background says yes and this is the title so if you have any title for the image it will show the title on the image so when i move the cursor on the image it will show the title for that particular image if you want to change it to alt text you can change it to alt text and if you have any alt text set up for the image it will show when i hover the mouse to the image if you have any description set up for the image it will show the description of the image when you move the cursor on the image so let me change it back back to none because i do not have any text set up for this these images okay so these are the overlay setting now let's go to style section now this is the border color the change to one set the border and change the color to let's say green and you will see the green border around each image border radius let's set the border radius and you will see the radius here hover animation so let's say there is no animation right now so if you change it to zoom in now let me show you so when i move the mouse on the image it will zoom in zoom out move left move right move up and move down so these are the different kinds of hover animation that you can use with this advanced gallery overlay so if you want to add overlay color you can add the overlay color on the image gallery on the images let's change it to dark blue and you will see that overlay color is here you can change the opacity so it will show and this is the hover effect for the overlay so when i move the cursor you will see some gray color let's change it to let's say green and change the opacity so you will see some light green color so when i move the cursor on it it will show some light green color overlay color so there are different settings that you can change that you can use blend mode multiply hover animation so these are the animation for the hover so i'm not going to change it now this is for content if you have alt text or description so these are the settings to show the alt text or the description all right so these are the advanced settings for the gallery okay so now let's change the background color for this gallery i have selected this section go to the style gradient use the let's say black one right now let's update it now let's go to gallery page and refresh it so this is the basic gallery and this is the advanced gallery so you can add the image let me change the position of this one all right so this one looks good so you can change the setting of the row height and after that it will adjust the position of the images so right now it looks somewhat bluish so i'm going to remove that overlay color all right update it refresh it all right so this one looks good now let's click on the image and it will show on in the gallery and this is the basic gallery all right so this is how you can use the image gallery widgets in elementor so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips